welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a talk through makeup tutorial. I used my new blue brown pigment that I showed you guys in my last haul. So if you guys want to stay tuned to find out how I created this look, please keep on watching. Bye! Hey guys, so today I'm just going to start off the tutorial. I've already prepped my skin. I used um, my little sample of my Makeup Forever um, HD primer. And I am going to start with my eyes first. I'm going to be using um, all Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I just recently got my order in. The ones on this side, like the colorful ones, are all MAC. And then these ones are all Makeup Geek. Um, I'm going to start with my... Um, what is it? Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance. I'm going to put that all over my lid. Okay, now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow in Dark Brown and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm going to be taking a little bit of my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just going to put that right on top of the eyeshadow insurance. I just find that it gives a little bit more of a color payoff when um, you're using your eyeshadow and also it helps with the blending just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking one eyeshadow from my Maya Mia palette with um, my E40 from Sigma. I'm just going to be taking the color Nude and I'm just going to put that all over my entire lid right up to my brow bone. I just, help, I just find when you put a color all over your um, lid before putting your eyeshadow on helps so much with the blending. So just in case if you like get like a spot that isn't completely dry, it doesn't like stick there and then you can't blend it. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek with the same E40 brush. And I'm just going to put that right in the crease, upper crease, just as our transition color. And then I'm going to be taking Coco Bear, also from Makeup Geek, with the exact same brush again. And I'm just going to focus this more on the outer corner. And then whatever's left over, just sweep in on the inside. Okay, and next I'm going to be taking a shadow pencil from MAC. And it's called Life's Luxury. And this was limited edition, I'm really sorry. But um, I'm sure you can find it's a really dark brown with like gold sort of reflex glitter in it. And I'm just going to take that. I'm just going to take that and put it on my lid. And I'm just using my ring finger to blend it out. And I'm just going to be taking my Smashbox brush from my Full Exposure palette and just using the blending side just to help blend this out just a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to be taking another Makeup Geek eyeshadow. It's called Mocha and it's just a nice, really dark matte brown color. And I'm going to take it on the same Smashbox brush. And I'm just going to go right over the pencil that we just used and put that into the crease. Okay, next I'm going to be taking the star of the show which is Max Blue Brown Pigment. Um, I showed this in a haul recently and my fingers are all dirty. Yeah, I showed this in a haul recently and this is my first time using it and I've had it for like forever. Um, so let's see how this goes. 
I'm going to take my um, Makeup Forever O2 Miss and Fix spray. You can also use like Max Fix Plus as well if you have. Um, and I'm going to be using. Um, where'd you go? Oh, this is actually better. Okay, I have this brush from my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and it has like a flat stiff kind of fluffy, kind of stiff, kind of flat, a little bit of both, or all three. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on the brush, and I'm going to put that right over the brown eyeshadow, or the pencil, sorry. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm just going to see if it's still recording. And... Try to um, pat for the most part at the beginning, and then if you want more of that metallic finish, you can just swipe the brush. I hope you guys can see that effect there. opposite side of my Smashbox brush and I'm going to go into Shimma Shimma and it's pretty similar to um, Max Shroom eyeshadow but this one is like way more pigmented to be honest <laughs> and I'm just going to top off the excess and I'm just going to use that as my brow highlight my voice sounded super raspy there for a second so as you can see, it just sort of lightens and hi um, highlights the brow bone there. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the other side just to blend the highlight and the crease color together. I am going to take my brow gel, which is just the matte clear brow gel that I seriously need to get rid of because super old and I want to try something new because I don't feel like it's the greatest product ever but I'm just using it up because I have it so okay next I'm gonna be taking my mega liner from wet n wild which is like my all-time favorite liquid liner it's so easy to use and it's cheap so you can't be cheap and good okay hold on I gotta put down a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing starting to give out on me. I'm going to have to get a new one soon. And for those of you that are just starting to use eyeliner, it is such a tough process it's so hard to learn how to use it so if you guys are like discouraged just keep practicing you'll get the hang of it trust me it, it was such a burden I got so frustrated sometimes that I would just like threw everything everywhere literally because I was just like so fed up because I couldn't get the eyeliner down and it was just like if it wasn't good then it ruined the whole eyeshadow look so just keep practicing foundation we're going to be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I was using my Becca one that I love but it's getting a little bit too dark for me. I need to do my salt tanner and then it'll match me better but for right now this is going to do and to be honest I really really like it because the Becca one is even more 
drying, I guess you could say, than the double wear. So it's kind of nice to go back to this. Um, and the color matches me a little bit better. So I'm going to stick with this for a little while until I do my self tanner because my skin has like been super dry lately. So I'm going to go with this for now. And I'm going to be applying it with my beauty blender. I should probably clean off my hand because I have a whole bunch of crap on it. Okay. And I've already prepped my skin. Like I said earlier. Okay. And I love applying my foundation with my beauty blender. With my Becca, I couldn't because it's... It's not that you can't, it's just that it sucks up so much of the foundation because it's more of like a moussey texture like the... Um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. So, um, okay camera, thanks for cutting me off, but like I was saying, it's not the most, the Beauty Blender is not the most ideal um, thing to use to apply the Becca foundation. I like to use my um, Sigma Flat Top Kabuki to do that. To you, sorry, to apply that foundation. Well, I can't talk. I'm just like getting rid of some blemishes here. Um, they're just finally starting to go away. I have, um, I'm gonna put up a skincare routine video really soon. I just got a couple of new products that I've already been using, but I finally got like the full size of them. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys that soon. Just a little bit more. Ooh, that's too much. Okay. Oh, that was loud. Okay. I just hate doing in between my eyebrows because the bottom of the beauty blender is so big and sometimes it gets in my eyebrows which is annoying and also on the side of my brows oh for those of you who are um, in Toronto are you guys going to be going to IMAX this year? I'm super excited I'm like, I'm like three weeks away I'm excited. I think exactly tomorrow I think it's gonna be exactly three weeks. Okay. Just gonna put a little bit extra where my redness is. Um, double wear tends to have the um, power to change color if you don't set it like really really quickly so I'm just using my Rimmel Stay Matte powder and I'm just gonna set it really quickly I don't know it just oxidizes and I find that if you set your foundation like right after you can kind of avoid it going too dark or too orange sometimes it goes orange on me but the last few days that I've been wearing it, it's been okay. It looks like my face is lighter than my body on the camera, but it looks the same in person. I swear. I think everybody says that that puts on foundation in the videos. Okay. I'm really sorry if I seem like I'm out of energy. Just like, I got a little frustrated because I've been filming. I tried to film two other videos and... Um, they didn't work out. I've been trying to like figure out how to film a hair tutorial. It just wasn't working So I like threw that in the garbage and then I was filming my hair care routine video and my sisters kept bugging me and coming into my room And I just like, you know, I was like gave up I just took a breather for a few days and then now I'm like trying to film since nobody's home. So <laughs> I hope that I am okay on camera today. So what am I going to do next? Concealer. I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm just going to dot this one. I'm thinking about getting a new one for winter time because I find that this is a little bit drying for me right now. But I just don't want it to go to waste because it's not cheap at all. <laughs> And 
I am going to also take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to set my concealer. I'm not sure if I'm going to have my favorites video up before this. I probably will, but you'll be seeing this powder in there for sure. I'm not going to talk about it now. I'll talk about it in my favorites video. Okay. Um, next, I am going to actually do my eyes and then I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I'm going to take my uh, Makeup Forever the Smoky Extravaganza. Is that what it's called? Okay, so Smoky Extravagant Mascara. And it has like a really super cool brush. You just have to be really careful with it because a lot of the product gets right at the tip. So you kind of got to clean it off or else you're going to make a mess everywhere. Okay. Next, I am going to apply some false lashes. I will be back. Okay, so now I'm just going to be taking now I'm going to be taking my Mocha eyeshadow on this side of my Smashbox brush, and I'm just going to put it on my lower lash line. You can use black if you want as well. I just like the look of the brown eyeshadow, especially for fall time. Oh, I got something in my eye. Oh, Lash, please don't do that. Oh, you're gonna do that. Rack. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit more on the blendy side, and then oh, the blendy side. I'm such a loser. And I'm just going to blend this out. I actually really like this angle. Okay, I'm going to be filming my tutorials from this angle now, since you guys can see everything. Sorry guys, I'm still trying to get used to filming tutorials. I hope you guys don't mind my um, uneducated versions of this stuff. Okay. Alrighty. So, I'm going to zoom out and you guys are going to see the rest of my face. Hey guys, so I'm back. So I just put on some Ardell Demi Wispy um, eyelashes. And if you do not wear eyelashes with this look, it's gonna be, it's gonna look like it's not complete. So you have to wear lashes with this look. You have to wear lashes with anything dramatic or else it just doesn't look finished. Um, but I popped those on and also put another layer of mascara on my bottom lashes. Next, I am going to take my um, I was going to say NARS, uh, MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in Radiant Rose. I am definitely going to repurchase this, but I'm not going to get this color. I'm going to get the Light Boost one instead. I did, I made a boo-boo. I did set my powder, or set my under eyes before I put this on. I completely forgot to put it on. It's not necessary. You don't need to put this on. But I just feel like just to give my under eyes a little bit of a boost because they've been looking a little dry lately. Um, I'm just going to take my brush and blend that out. Okay, for those of you that have the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I was watching Chow Bella's uh, newest video, her talk through tutorial. That's what kind of inspired me to do this video today. Um, and she said that she noticed that she started breaking out where she was putting her contour powder. And I started to think about it because I started breaking out here. They're pretty, they're gone now, but I was breaking out here like really, really bad, badly for, I'd say like a good week and a half. And I, now that she mentioned it, like I was using my contour kit for like continuously for so many days. And I think that's what caused it because I never ever break out like in like my cheek area unless if I'm like super duper dehydrated which I wasn't because I use moisturizer day and night and I wash my face regularly so um well obviously duh but um I don't know what I'm gonna do now because I really really like that palette I'm gonna still start like keep using the um under eyes powders and stuff but I don't think I'm gonna use the contour powder anymore so I'm gonna have to try and find something new which totally sucks because I really like that kit. So um, today I'm going to go back to, which I love, it's still a great product. I just find that it's a little bit warm to contour with. I just don't have anything now, like right now in front of me that I can use. 
but I'm going to use my Chocolate Sole Bronzer from Too Faced to slightly bronze and contour. I'm just going to use my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35. I'm just going to bronze my neck a little bit because my neck, when I was on vacation in the summer, my um, just my neck didn't get tanned as much as my chest and my face did, so, gotta give them issues, don't you, son? Okay. And for blush, I'm going to be using my Bellissima blush from Kat Von D, which is just a nice pinky color. I am going to look for something else for the winter time because I want something more of like a peach tone. I don't even know if I'm going to because I don't even like to wear blush to be honest with you guys. I'm pretty sure I've said that before. And last but not least, I'm going to be taking my Becca Opal Highlighter and I'm going to use my tapered highlighter brush again actually. Can you guys see that? Oh my god. I'm in love with this stuff. And I have a brush head on my face. Okay. I'm like super duper over the top of this stuff because I love it so much. And I'm going to blend that out because there's too much on there. Okay. And then whatever's left over, I just put down the middle of my face. Okay. So there is my face and for lips I'm just going to take, what is this, not that, I'm going to use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London, yeah in London. And just something super duper nude. I want the eyes to sort of take focus. It just kind of sucks because I have to film this, it's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon because I live in Canada and at 4 o'clock four o'clock it's like dark outside pretty much and today was like the perfect day because it's sunny but it's not too sunny. I feel like I need gloss. I'm going to put gloss on this. I'm going to use my Buxom Sophia lip gloss. And I love these because it gives that um, tingly feeling. Oh shit. Okay. And it like it's like a natural lip plump wear. You guys can do whatever lip color you want. There's no rules. I just like to do something nude when I have a darker eye. But I am going to take pictures and I will insert them at the beginning of the video most likely if not they will probably be at, be at the end Ugh. I make the stupidest faces in my videos I should probably like screenshot all the stupid faces that I make and my hair is tangled okay so I have a few exciting videos coming up um I have probably some, some skincare stuff some hair stuff and um, if you guys have any recommendations for like holiday videos, I'd love to know what they are. I'm thinking about starting to vlog. Um, it's just really hard because I'm not really comfortable with having my camera out when I'm in public. But I'll see. So if you guys want to see vlogs, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. Love you. Mwah.